Well, we have a pretty ambitious vision, which is to build the world's largest kids' entertainment brand. My name is Michael Acton Smith, and I run a game studio in London called Mind Candy. And our biggest game has been something called Moshi Monsters, which is the world of adoptable pet monsters. I was one of those really annoying kids that was always coming up with harebrained business ideas. So I had a BMX stunt show in my front garden, I used to wash cars, I created a computer game magazine, and um, drove all my neighbours completely mad. I went to university and I had really no idea what I wanted to do, but uh, the best thing I got out of university was just kind of growing up, um, getting more confident, meeting amazing people, joining some clubs, and uh, just giving myself time to, to think about what I wanted to do eventually. I did get a sensible job for about six months. I actually did work in the city. And I realised it definitely wasn't for me. I used to spend all day doodling ideas and I couldn't wait to get home to kind of um, scribble on my notebook. So Tom was um, the technologist, built the site and did all the engineering and I did the marketing and the product. So that was a lot of fun, I did that for a few years, but my other passion is video games. I thought at the intersection between the internet as it became more mainstream and video games, there were going to be really exciting things happening. So not only could you play games with your friends, but you could play games with hundreds, thousands, even millions of people around the world. So I created a company called Mind Candy to kind of splash around in this space. We raised about $10 million to create a game called Perplex City which was a global treasure hunt where we buried a $200,000 treasure and then we released clues across different media. But uh, commercially it was a, a bit disastrous and uh, didn't go quite as well as I planned. I just started doodling um, uh, a little, um, little monster that would live online. Uh, but it would be, the idea was that it would be very emotionally resonant, um, that you could uh, feed it and tickle it and take it for walks. And I just realized, you know, no one was really doing this online. I brought in professional artists and uh, writers and musicians and programmers, and we started to kind of flesh the whole thing up. So with the last little bit of cash we had left, about a million dollars in the bank, we switched horses and uh, I created this um, crazy kids game called Moshi Monsters. And uh, it's basically like Tamagotchi meets Facebook um, for kids. And uh, yeah, we put it live in 2008 and it's just grown like crazy. So we're now well over 50 million registered users. We add one new user every second. We're in about 200 countries around the world. And uh, yeah, it doesn't look like slowing down. I'm not a developer. We've got an amazing engineering team here. I'm more sort of the fluffier stuff. Uh, the ideas, the product, the marketing, the press, dreaming up new character ideas, helping the story evolve, and that's what I love doing. Only in the sort of last year or two has it really started to get major momentum. Silicon Roundabout seems to be a real kind of buzzword at the moment. We all say it tongue in cheek, but um, there's a lot of companies setting up here. There's a lot of events and I think that's fantastic. If ever there's a moment to join or start up your own company, this is it. To be the little nimble startups that can run rings around the major corporations and move faster than them and be more innovative than them, you know, the moment is now. You know, we've seen what Disney have done over decades, we've seen what Pixar have done, we saw what Henson did in the 60s with TV. And we believe we're one of the pioneers on this new canvas, which is um, creating amazing uh, interactive entertainment for kids. So still in the early days, but um, we think we've got a, an amazing um, future ahead of us.